It was several years ago. I was on my way to my hometown, alone on an express bus. I'm so bored. <sighs> there were only ten or less passengers seated here and there. I limped over the corridor to have a better glimpse of inside. As the bus was leading to a tunnel with the surrounding becoming dark, it was not long before I fell asleep. I might have been pretty tired. Some time has passed. I opened my eyes again and stared outside the window to find that we were still in the tunnel, looking all glaring red while the bus was running continuously. Since it felt as if quite a long lapse of time, I just thought that it was another tunnel different from the one where I fell asleep. But no matter how far that was wrong, there was no end to the tunnel. It seemed that if an air from somewhere outside this world was surrounding me, giving me an awkward and discomforting feeling, I had chills all over my body. I limped over the corridor to have a better glimpse of inside. All of the passengers seemed to be asleep, letting their bodies slip to the side. However, it didn't give me a clear view due to the seats and high backs. I turned around to see the tail part of the bus. Oh my god! Find out some passengers lying on the floor with fatal damage to their body and breathing heavily. Feeling of a terrible accident crossed my mind. Then suddenly, a creepy weird noise came from the front. What was that? <laughs> from then, I don't have an exact memory. I panickingly pushed my civil button to loosen myself until all fingernails were broken into pieces, but... I went straight through my thigh, leaving me a burning pain and stripped myself of conscious. <laughs> I woke up to find myself in a hospital ward. Where am I? There might have been a terrible accident. TV newsmen went on and on to report this accident every day. Express bus collision in my sanctuary. Eight were dead, including the driver leaving me only myself and another passenger alive. People say I was in coma for two days with a severe damage in the leg and an injury in the head. It really was a major accident but they say I survived because of the seatbelt that protect me from the bouncing of the bus. I tried to convince the doctor, nurses, and even police officers investigating the case about the kid I saw on the bus. But it's true, believe me. No one seemed to believe me. Another survivor is still in coma. He is in a ward right next to mine. That person probably might have seen what I saw on the bus. There buried a family in Mountain Sioux Song, located in Jinjingxi. Gyeonggi Do decapitated to death due to a wrongful accusation as traitors by King Wang He. One of them was a little child who just started to say a few words. 
A spirit of a young child looking like a half rotten corpse used to come down to a village and claim tens of people's life. Having heard about the tragic story, one had placed a large rock at the field where the family is buried, and the ghost of the child was never to be seen again. Mason Tunnel, where the accident took place, runs through Mount Sioux Song and was open for traffic in 1994.